Third Grade Bridges Review, Chapter 11. Vocabulary. Say and spell the word. Harbor. H-A-R-B-O-R. -R. Harbor. Cover, C-O-V-E-R, cover. Delicious, D-E-L-I-C-I-O-U-S, delicious. County, C-O-U-N-T-Y. County Wetlands W E T L A N D S Wetlands Waves W A V E S Waves To Surf T O space S U R F to surf Fisherman F I S H E R M A N Fisherman Tropical T R O P I C a L Tropical Vocabulary Choose the correct word Kenting has tropical weather The waves are really big you need to be careful. The harbor in Kaohsiung is really big. It helps with trade. The cookie is very delicious. Let's read. Hello. My name is Sam. I am a tour guide in Taiwan. Do you love nature? Then southern Taiwan is a beautiful place to vacation. The weather is warm and the people are very friendly. There are great cities to visit, delicious foods to try, and beautiful mountains to see. Come with me. I will show you the best parts of southern Taiwan. Most people who go to southern Taiwan start their trip in Kaohsiung. It is the largest city in southern Taiwan and has the most land of any city in Taiwan. There is a very large harbor in Kaohsiung. Kaohsiung is an important city for trade because boats can travel easily to and from the city. There are lots of fun things to do here, and it's a good place to stay for a night before you go to other parts of southern Taiwan. Another great big city to visit in southern Taiwan is Tainan. It is one of the oldest cities in Taiwan. Are you interested in history and culture? Some of the oldest temples in Taiwan are in Tainan, and there are more Buddhist and Taoist temples here than in any other Taiwanese city. There are not just great cities to visit in southern Taiwan, there is also a lot of beautiful nature. The southwest coasts of Taiwan gets a lot of rain, 
So there are marshes and wetlands. Wetlands are places where water covers much of the ground. So there are a lot of plants and animals. The Chigu wetlands are famous for the birds that live there, such as the black-faced spoonbills. Every winter, people travel from all over the world to see these birds. Will you be one of these people? Penghu is a county in Taiwan that is made up of islands. Isle is another word for island. And people also call Penghu the Isles of the Fishermen because many people on the island are fishermen. In this picture, you can see the Crossing Sea Bridge, which goes between the islands of Paisha and Shihu. It is five and a half kilometers long and is the longest bridge between two islands in Asia. Kenting National Park is Taiwan's oldest national park. It is at the southernmost point on the island of Taiwan. The mountains are beautiful there, and it is the only place on the island that has tropical weather. Therefore, there are different plants and animals in Kenting than there are in other parts of Taiwan. Today, there are more than 1,200 different kinds of plants that grow in the park. People love to surf and feel the sunshine at the beaches in Kenting. If you try to go surfing, make sure you take a lesson first. The waves can get very big. I hope that you will decide to visit southern Taiwan very soon. You will be happy you did. Discussion questions. Where do most people who go to southern Taiwan start their trip? Most people that visit southern Taiwan start their trip in Kaohsiung. Why is Kaohsiung an important city for trade? Kaohsiung is an important city for trade because it has a very large harbor that lets boats travel easily to and from the city. Why is Tainan special? It is one of the oldest cities in Taiwan, and Tainan has some of the oldest temples. Why does the southwest coast have marshes and wetlands? Because it rains a lot. Why is the Crossing Sea Bridge special? The Crossing Sea Bridge is special because it is the longest bridge between two islands in Asia. What is the name of Taiwan's oldest national park? Taiwan's oldest national park is Kenting National Park. Social Studies, page 93. When we learn about geography, we are learning about what the earth does and what it looks like. Geography is the dirt below our feet, the trees next to us, and the mountains above us. Geography is the ocean on the coast, the rivers inside the gorge, and the lakes between the mountains. Geography is the hills, valleys, and beaches. Geography is even the people and animals that live in all these places. Geography is everything on the surface of the earth. 
Landmarks are things we can easily recognize in nature. We can create landmarks like bridges or tall buildings, but there are many landmarks that are made by nature and not by man. Natural landmarks are one part of geography that people like to go and see. They might see it because it is beautiful, historical, or culturally important. Landmarks usually have a proper name. So, mountains are geography, but Yushan Mountain is geography and a landmark. This temple in Tainan is a landmark in southern Taiwan. It is a landmark, and it is geography. But, since all landmarks are also geography, we can just call it a landmark. These marshes and wetlands in southern Taiwan are geography. They don't have a special name, and people don't go to see specific parts. Kenting National Park has beaches and vistas that people go to see. These specific places are landmarks. The rest of the park is geography. So remember, the important thing that you need to know about landmarks and geography are that landmarks have a special name, like Taipei 101, Yushan Mountain. They have a special name, and they are places that when you see them, you know where you are. Math. Page 96. So guys, remember in the math, we've been talking about weight, how heavy something is. We've been using kilograms, grams, and milligrams. Remember, kilograms, or kg, is the heaviest we're doing. So 1 kg has 1,000 grams in it. And in the middle weight, grams... 1 gram has 1,000 milligrams in it. And 1 kg has 1 million milligrams in it. If you look at the example on here, it says 1 slice of bread weighs about 25 grams. If we want to know how many milligrams that is, we times or multiply 25 by 1,000, and that gives us 25,000 milligrams. Good luck!